So here we have a Maxus E-Deliver 3 electric van and as you can see it's a cold and snowy morning this morning. So what I'm going to do this morning is see what the winter range is like. So as you can see it has snowed in the early hours of the morning. Uh, I think it's about one degrees now uh, because the, uh, the rain is falling as rain now rather than snow. So let's start this one up. So this is a Maxus E Deliver 3. Uh, let me just pause the radio there. And these come with either a 35 kilowatt hour battery or a 52 kilowatt hour battery. This one is the smaller battery version with a 35 kilowatt hour battery. And these do uh, anything typically between 100 and 150 miles range. So uh, let's just push the trip thing here. So it did charge overnight and it's saying 91 miles range. Um, these are quite inaccurate, the range meter, the guesser meter in these vehicles. But anyway, let's go round to the battery state of charge. 100%. So I charged this overnight. This finished charging about 1 a.m. this morning. So it sat for eight hours in the cold. So the battery pack underneath is gonna be cold. It's not warm at all. And um, if you know anything about EVs and, and batteries, it's worst case scenarios. Batteries don't like the cold weather. And also because when you're driving you're going to be more inefficient in the winter because of heater use because you've got to generate the heat and this is electric so that draws more power from your traction battery so in the winter evs do do less range than in the summer so when you're looking at evs everyone quotes the manufacturers wltp figures and um, the reality is most vehicles you would struggle to achieve that some of them you can actually uh, beat that on when you're looking at electrics um, but for most vehicles those figures aren't really realistic they're laboratory figures exactly the same as a petrol or diesel car you know the, the figures on those also aren't realistic but i don't hide the real world range of evs and i quote uh, the figures for all sorts of driving scenarios and that's exactly what i'm going to look at today in this video i've got to do a few errands so i thought i'll film it as i go along and sort of show you worst case scenario in one of these small battery vans and look at what the range would be in the winter in weather like this so first off i'm going to put my electric seat warmer on down there and we're going to need a bit of heat on the windscreen um, and we need to press the heat button there and let's get it on fan number two and that will start demisting the windows and uh, get ready for me to drive so i've been sat here for about 10 minutes just sorting out the uh, tripod so i can record while i'm driving and the predicted range has dropped to 82 miles because we've been sat here with the uh, heater on uh, also eagle eye people might see the time is 4 22 pm it's not it is um where's the time let me just have a look at my phone it's 8 30 in the morning um and also sorry for the picture quality the lens on the camera keeps steaming up uh because of the cold so let's get on my way so i have both the heating and the air conditioning on blasting air at the windscreen i'm not trying to drive economically just doing a normal drive and doing everything you expect to do in the winter i'm not trying to maximize the driving efficiency as much as i can just to make this video look good it's all about real world figures here First stop is I'm going to grab some breakfast and grab a coffee from McDonald's here. along with quite a few others at half eight in the morning. 
Well, they clearly got problems this morning. This is taking ages, they're very slow. So I've been sat here for probably 20 minutes in total. Um, and of course, all this time I've had the heater on, uh, I've got my uh, heated seat on, um, but obviously not driving, but still consuming energy. So the driving efficiency is dropping because I'm not moving. You know, in that 20 minutes, I could have driven 10 miles or so. But anyway, the state of charge is now 95%. I've done 3.5 miles, but I've also done 20 minutes of um, heating the cabin and, and uh, sitting here listening to the radio, enjoying my breakfast. Anyway, I'm going to crack on now. Um, I've got about a 20 to 25 mile drive. I'm going to load the back of the van up, drive back and maybe do a second trip of the same uh, later on this afternoon. I don't know yet. Depends how much I can fit in the back of the van. I forgot to say, at least half the journey is on uh, dual carriageway here, so not the most efficient driving either. So I'm almost at my destination. Very pretty with a light dusting of snow in the countryside. Um, and uh, I do enjoy driving in the snow. You get that sort of hypnotic effect of the uh, snow coming towards the windscreen all the time. But anyway, I'll uh, load up. Oh, God, this road's rough. I'll uh, load up the back and um, see you later on. Right. I'm loaded up. So, I'll get on back. So, I've just come down a steep hill, Streetly Hill, uh, for those which uh, know this area. And, um, it's a very steep hill. I had it on full regen, but I was only getting one bar of regen on the dash here. Uh, so that's clearly because the battery is cold. So that's another thing which um, is meaning that you're not getting the most efficient driving today, just because it's so cold. Um, so normally I would have had, I would have seen three bar at least coming down at speed like that on full regen. But not today, just because uh, the battery can't uh, absorb it, just because it's cold. driven 32 and a half miles. Um, I keep forgetting I've, I've moved 10 miles closer now so I thought it was going to be a 25 mile journey each way but actually it was only a 16 mile journey each way. Um, but anyway the state of charge is now 67% so used about 30% of the battery and done 30 miles so very quick mass that equates to a range of 100 miles and that's a worst case scenario in the winter particularly um, chilly snowy day today and that's with the heating on all the time and my heated seat on all the time so one of these vans with the smaller 35 kilowatt hour battery that's the sort of range you're going to expect to see in the winter worst case scenarios is about uh, 95 to 100 miles range but as always does depend on your driving economy of course um, and your speed and how you drive the vehicle just like uh, a petrol or diesel um, but I was doing real world driving keeping up to uh, national speed limits all the time and of course it's fully loaded in the back not that that makes much difference uh, and I've got videos on the channel showing the difference between a, a loaded van and an empty van as well and there isn't much in it anyway um, I hope that helps so that will do for this video if you found it useful please do click the thumbs up button on YouTube that really does help uh, if you want to know more about these Maxus eDeliver 3 electric vans, I'll put a link in the video description below to a playlist where you can look at other videos I've made on these vans. So that will do. I'll see you on the next video.